Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're having a wonderful day. So I've noticed many Lightroom tutorials on YouTube are just far too long and spend way too much time on a single photo. So I'm here to give you three tools to not only speed up your Lightroom workflow, but to make your photos look great and stand out amongst the rest. Alright, so let's click on that develop module, give it a crop because I'm posting to Instagram. So this is a photo that I got a lot of feedback saying, oh, it's fake, but really I'm just jumping to make it look like I'm floating. But so many people thought I Photoshopped myself into it. Anyhow, got that Instagram crop. So here are a couple of my presets. I always start with my presets. You can have a look there on the side and that's a good starting point to edit any photo. So here's a few examples of my 12 presets that I always use beforehand. All right, so I like that one. Let's begin with that one. So that I'm just gonna show you the side here. If you wanna pause this at any point, you could see the settings I changed to get this preset. So if you're interested in copying what I did, just pause it. All right, we're gonna bring down those highlights, get some details back in the sky. And then here's the first tool. It is the radial, the radial filter. And that way we're gonna make the subject stand out. So if you bring the exposure down, it's gonna darken everything but the subject and that'll make you pop a little bit. Adjust the feathers so it's not so bold, you can see there. So let's adjust that, I'm happy with that there. And I like this clarity tool here. You can bring it down so it makes it look like a very dreamy effect. I stay sharp, the subject stays sharp, but everything else is dreamy, so I adjust that a little bit. All right, that's good, that's the radial filter. Next one is the brush tool. This tool is amazing for making your photos pop, and typically I like to paint the subject. So I just paint that down. And to show what area I've painted, I hit that show selected mask overlay, hit alt to remove any areas that I've overpainted, and I'll just continue to paint with that brush tool on the subject. Again, hitting alt to make the adjustments. Just make, make one more adjustment at the top and you see it's a little bit messy. So I'll hit Alt and it'll just clean up around the sweater there. All right, so now I'm going to make the adjustments to the subject. Bring up the clarity, sharpness, contrast, and that'll make the image or the subject. That'll make whatever you painted just pop right off the page. I'm not going too far with it. We don't want to look, make it look fake but that's just an example to show you what it could look like, like if you maxed out those bars. But I'm just gonna bring those back to where I like it. So tool number three is the graduated filter. This is really great for adjusting skies. You'll notice I've lost details in the skies here, so I'm gonna use that graduated filter and bring them back by just dropping the exposure in that graduated filter. and gives you a more moody, dark look to your photos, which is what I prefer. So we'll just put that graduated filter on an angle, not to darken the mountains too much. So lastly, I'm going to return back to the first tool we used, the radio filter, but for a different purpose this time. And this time we're going to select the invert mask, so it only affects the inside of the circle and not the outside. Now I think this photo still looks a bit flat because it's kind of unitone right now. So I'm gonna make a radio filter, adjust the temperature and the tint, and that'll bring a new tone to the photo that we haven't really seen before. So I like the colors there. I'm just going to adjust the size and the shape of this radio filter and then change its location. And that will really bring some, some depth and some color contrast to the photo here. Before it was all just sort of a dark greenish yellow photo. This brings a bit of warmth back into it. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. I'm just gonna drop the vignette down a little bit. That makes your eye drawn slightly to more towards the center. Press Shift F, full screen mode, hit Y to see the side by side. There's the before and after. You'll see quite a bit of a difference. This is the type of visual that I like. I'm not sure exactly what you like, but this is more my editing style. So feel free to rewind and go back and watch any of the three tools again, the graduated filter, the radio filter, and the brush tool. 
But remember, the more practice and the more time you spend in Lightroom, the faster and the better you will be. And also, if you're interested in saving more time and becoming much faster in Lightroom, you can check out my 12 presets. These are great starting points and will save you a lot of time with just one click. So the link is in the description if you're interested. All right, so if you enjoyed the video or you learned something today, then hit that like button, consider subscribing if you aren't already, and I'll see you in the next one.